just how close of a presidential race could we be looking at come November? Could a small, deep red state in the Midwest be the deciding factor in the 2024 election? Could there be a tie? And if so, could Trump become president and his VP be Kamala Harris? There is a chance. If there were a tie, things could get a little weird from there. To play out our little hypothetical, take a look at this map. This electoral guess isn't super far-fetched. It has some battleground states like Michigan, Pennsylvania, and Wisconsin going to Biden, states he won in 2020. And others like Arizona and Georgia flipping for Trump. It brings the total electoral vote to 276 to 262 Biden. But when you flip Nevada for Trump, which Republicans are gunning for, and Trump leads in several polls, then it brings our what-if scenario to 270 to 268 for Biden. But right in the heartland is a unique outlier in Nebraska. It's one of just two states that doesn't have a winner-take-all electoral law. Well, it's a deep red state, the district that houses Omaha, went blue in 2020. However, its state legislature is looking to change that, so instead of a 4-1 split of delegates, it would be all five for Trump, which takes us to our 269 to 269 tie. The newly sworn in House of Representatives is then given the task of electing a president. Each state, no matter how many House reps, only gets one vote. Whoever reaches 26 wins the presidency, a significant power for the party that holds the majority of state delegations in this chamber, which is currently the Republicans. For our hypothetical, let's say in 2024, they maintain their majority and vote in Trump. Whoever Trump chooses as his VP isn't automatically given the position in this scenario. The Senate elects a vice president in the case of a tie. They choose between the top two electoral vote getters. Democrats would need to maintain its majority in November. Then the chamber could elect Biden's running mate. So as odd as it sounds, there is a world out there that could see a Trump-Harris four-year stint in the White House. The point of this story, big picture, to show just how close the 2024 election could be, given there's such a mixture in poll results on who leads who. Hopefully this all shed some light on how crucial other elections are this year outside of the presidential one. And to have a little fun, because imagining these two sharing the White House is hopefully bipartisan humor we can all enjoy.